This is the seating template in Excel purely designed using only formula and no VBAs are used here. In this seating template you can arrange the seating arrangement and you have the alternate sheet. You can print the alternate sheet. You have the overall seating and also hallways question paper count for each department or each class. This particular one is specially designed for schools and it has the this is the home page when you open the excel sheet it brings you to this page and here you have admin corner and only when the admin completes his work under these three categories the other person or anyone from the exam cell they can print these four options these four features from this sheet first let's see admin corner go to the hall design and here he has to enter the hall numbers you can enter anything it may be it is of maximum 15 nodes to increase the all you have if you want any other sheets with more than even we have sheets more than 50 holes and here enter the capacity actually this is designed with maximum capacity of only 40 if you want to increase the capacity then you can contact through the number which is given in the home page using whatsapp here name of the classes if it is for college you can enter the departments but it is specially made for school therefore you have to enter your school class with sessions if there are six standard three sessions or four sections all are entered separately this sheet can contain maximum of 17 sections if you want to increase the sections you can make it to any number of sections going to the home page then you have the subject entry click subject entry and here you have options for entering 16 subjects if you want to increase you can increase it later the subject entry is important because it will help you it will print the subject in the attendance sheet that we will see later next is the name list entry here you are going to copy and paste or directly enter the student's name and their hall ticket number or it can be the roll number because especially in seating page your hall ticket number only displays if you want to display both you can we can do that option also here there are 17 separate sessions and you want to enter the names of the students separately i have entered for the first five branches for the first five classes this is the work of the admin and if he is completed these works then you can go directly to the theory seating exam seating for day one you can separately save this sheet as putting the date because once it is edited if you want to take it for the next exam then you want to edit it again therefore save it separately here enter the school name and the name detail of the exam here whether it can be a quarterly half year annual and the date day month year separately and also enter the day here day order whether it's a monday or tuesday when it's anything it may be you can enter the time here you have the two options 10 to 1 or 2 to 5 you can also change this by bringing it to our knowledge now here you have the boxes for 17 sections and 17 boxes and the drop down it comes directly from the subject entry which you have entered before you can select the subject from here Now moving to the home page or you can click next you can see the seating page is printed you can change the count here if I entered 5 it comes 5 so generally what happens means this is left empty this is one is left empty and you can select the whole number from the drop down here after selecting the whole number you can select any one of the sessions out of the 17 first we have entered only for five i am selecting we will select the first four six a and in six a it displays how many students are there totally it is also entered here i will delete this yes total are 20 students and 20 students need to be placed i am placing 10 students in this particular hall so that gets updated still 10 students are remaining that remaining 10 students i am going to place it in the second hall 6a and enter 10 now all students are filled
there is no remaining students also you can see there were 30 c MC, empty seats available it is displaying like that yes you can see that this gets updated when you enter the next hall see here i am going trying for the second session they have 30 students i am allocating 10 students here yes yeah, still 20 seats are available and totally 20 are allocated next coming to the third we have still 20 seats so i am allocating 10 and next coming to the instead of 60 i am getting 70 and 10 now all seats are occupied when it shows you can stop allocating more seats total is 40 40 all allocated now coming back to this particular see all the 40 seats have been filled here and here it shows the classes which are filled which are allocated and their subjects are automatically displayed in the right side you can see that classes totally 6a 6b 6c 7a are allocated it also displayed here and this is one page and this is the second page how to we have allocated only one class that is 60 it is showing there and now i am allocating more let's try 6b yes 6b has still 20 remaining students i am entering those students here and then 7a 15 are there i am entering till 10 and next try 6d 6d 20 are there 10 yes now see 6a 6b 7a 60 6a 6b 7a 60 all have appeared here and their respective subjects and all the seats are filled and the total students allocated is displayed automatically here now let's try to print this page you can print it directly from going to the file or something or you can press command p or control p it will take you to this page and totally there were eight pages we have just filled the first page so i am just entering one to one you can preview it how your sheet looks so this is how our sheet looks if you have given more pages then you can print other page also this is how your sheet looks and you can also change the design to any uh, desired format you have we it is just a formulas so only we are fixing the formulas if you want the sheet like this you can send the uh, sheet which you have and we will edit the formulas in that now moving to the home page we have the next option that is attendance sheet yes since we enter any details in seating page that gets automatically updated in the attendance sheet and the attendance sheet has the first two halls completely filled the first hall is with 40 students second hall with 40 students and their hall ticket number and all the things are displayed their subject name and what are the classes allocated everything this is all the same thing control p it opens that and i am trying to pay print pages from one to two and i'm showing this in preview yes we got the preview this is the first page and this is the second page if we want any other options we can add this to it now moving to the home page again you have the hallways question paper count so this is the hallways question paper count and we have allocated students in hall 1 room 1 room 2 it is shown there and how many students are in each hall this is also you can print it using control p option and we have one more option overall seating this is the overall seating students from which roll number from which in first hall 6a aa12 aa10 in second hall a11 to aa20 if you fill other halls all halls are displayed totally we have 15 halls you can print it in a single page i will show that in the preview this is the preview of this page with the help of this you can paste it the students can identify in which hall their sheets comes like that that's it you have the four options and you have the have the link in the description for applying for the new templates 
and there's a link to YouTube link provided this will take you to the demo page how to use this sheet and you can use it and if you have any doubts and suggestions you can contact me at this number 949839487 happy seating with shines excel